Okay, I guess what we I'd like to do here today is to demonstrate this uh, turret tool post and uh, put it into a cut and uh, let let you see how how it cuts and how it handles a good deep uh, cut on the lathe. First of all, the turret tool post has four tool locations, and right now I have four tools mounted in the turret tool post, and. Um, what we do is we unlock the turret tool post, rotate a new tool into cutting position, lock it down again and it's ready for a cut. When we complete that cut, we uh, unlock it and we go and put the next tool into position and it's ready for a cut. So I guess what I'd like to do is demonstrate uh, making a little part on here and uh, we'll go from there. So. I'm going to put the first tool into position, bring it up to the part, I'm going to turn the uh, lathe on, here, there we go. That's a very nice looking chip that it's producing. Nice solid uh, cut. That chip is a little warm, but that's a very nice chip that came off of that. Kind of demonstrates how solid that setup is, which is important with a, to have on a tool holding device like this. Now I'm going to make one more cut before we change it. Just about finished now. The tool into position. And I'm going to round over the leading edge of this piece. And put a bull nose cut on it. You can see that that's handling, this is a very heavy cut because this is a, it's actually a quarter inch diameter radius. And it's, uh, handling that cut very, very well without any chatter. And just look at the finish on that piece. That is, that is really nice. Then I'm going to do another heavy cut here. This cut is 3 eighths of an inch wide. We are going to be taking a very wide cut. But look at how it handles that, that cut without any chatter. That again shows the rigidity that's in this tool post. Very rigid, very important uh, to have that feature when you're turning steel. You don't want chatter coming into your uh, part. That was a deep cut and a wide cut. Now what we're going to do is uh, I'm going to rotate a new tool into position. I'm going to chamfer that part take the sharp edge off the back edge of it. You won't see much of a chip here because it's not a very deep cut. I'm going to shut it off and we're going to part this part off using a rear mounted cutoff tool and we're going to drop this part off here. This rear mounted cutoff tool, which is something that uh, I'm eventually going to have uh, plans for, is a very handy thing. The tool is mounted upside down in, on the back of the cross light. Now there's our part. A little nubbin left on this end from uh, the cutoff tool, which is common. Uh, to finish that off, we would put that back into the lathe and uh, come in and make a little facing cut on there. But anyway, that part was produced quickly and without chatter using that tour tool post that we uh, 
have the plans available for and uh, that was done very fast. Just to uh, show you the difference in the two different size tool posts that we have uh, plans for, this is the larger one that's mounted on the lathe here. That's the two and a half inch square tool post. It has a half inch tool slot, so it will accept tool bits up to a half inch uh, square. This is a smaller version. I'm just showing it side by side with that other one as a you know, for a size reference. This one is two inches square, has a five sixteenths tool slot, and uh, will naturally hold tool bits up to five sixteenths square. I have another version of that small tool post right here. This one has been custom built to fit a Unimat DB two hundred or DB, or pardon me, SL one thousand lathe. It's a little bit lower, so that and it's uh, made to fit that particular lathe. But I do want to show, before we end here, the construction features of this tool post. If we take it apart and take the turret block off, you'll see here three uh, ball bearings that are in there, are sphere, spherical shapes, balls. And that's what locates the uh, tool both uh, radially and brings it back into location every single time. It locks down. This is a 12 position tool post where it indexes in uh, 12 different positions in 30 degree increments. I also have an option on the plans that allows people to build these with a 24 position which will index every 15 degrees. And uh, anyway, when they lock down and lo locate, it locates very solidly and very, very repeatable. And from what you saw in the beginning of the video, it is a very, very rigid uh, device, which is really important uh, in lathe work.